the proof of the existence of the constant race mass for photons in several ways. Saleh theory defines a photon as a small particle with constant rest mass which moves in three dimensions, not two, and has a helical motion. It believes that the photon in its rectilinear trajectory rotates around its nominal center line and the moved distance between two same positions in its rotational motion is equal to the wavelength which is the same as the wavelength in a sinusoidal wave if we check its project in two dimensions. In Saleh theory, the energy of photons consists of two parts, the wave part of the kinetic energy in the first part and is equal to the Planck formula, E is equal to H nu, and the second part is rotational energy, E rotational is equal to 1 over 2 mR square omega square, which named inner part of the kinetic energy and depends on its distance from the center and angular velocity. The reasons Reason 1. The color of light and its mass According to the wave-particle duality concept, the mass of moving photons will be changed based on their wavelengths. For example, in this theory the mass of the blue photon is twice of the red one. On the other hand, the energy of the blue photon also is higher than the red one. But even by sight and by feeling, the red light is heavier, stronger, and warmer than the blue light. In Saleh theory, the red light has more rotational energy due to its larger rotation radius than the blue light. And, as a result of the transfer of this energy to our eyes, we feel the red light warmer and stronger. Reason 2. Evanescence The evanescence in optical fibers has always been one of the questions of physics. As you know, the evanescent of red spectrum is more than the blue one. However, according to the theory of wave-particle duality, the photons of red spectrum with less energy than the blue spectrum should have a lower evanescent. But in Saleh theory, the photons of red spectrum have a larger rotation radius compared with the blue one and as a result will have longer penetration power. So, the more evanescence in red spectrum than the blue spectrum is obvious in this theory. Reason 3. Solar cell As you know, in solar cells among the visible light spectra, the rate of absorption and production of electrical energy for red light is higher than the blue, and the efficiency of solar cells at shorter wavelengths is lower than longer wavelengths. But as mentioned, according to the wave-particle duality, the energy of the blue light is considered more than the red light, and therefore, in solar cells, blue light should generate more electrical energy than red light. But in existing experiments, the opposite happens. So, how could this be justified by wave-particle duality theory? But as mentioned in Saleh theory, the photons of red light due to their larger rotation radius have more rotational energy than the blue one. Therefore, it is natural for red light photons to show better efficiency in solar cells. Reason for Collision of Photons Now, Imagine an experiment in which two spectral color sources are placed vertically in perpendicular directions. One is red and the other is green. 
We all know that at the intersection of these two spectrums, the color of them turns yellow and then each of them continues their trajectory with the same color of the original spectrum. According to wave particle theory, yellow spectrum has energy and mass between the red and green energy and mass. And according to this theory, it is believed that when two different red and green photons collide with each other, a new photon is created, the mass of which is not only the sum of the two original masses, but also their average. And more interestingly, this new photon has an average energy, not total energy. Furthermore, without any loss or waste of energy in less than a thousandth of a second, this newly created mass is converted back into exactly the same two original masses, namely green and red spectrum photons with their own energy. Aside from violating the law of conversation of linear momentum, this is virtually impossible in physics. But in solid theory, two photons of red and green with equal mass but different radius of rotation meet each other. So, at the intersection point, we will have two photons. The mass of each is equal to the mass of the red and green photons, and we have no any change in mass. The only thing that happens is about the rotational radius and is in our eyes. Our eyes see the result of these two different circles in the middle of it. So, at the intersection point, it is seen yellow, and then, after moving away from the intersection point, the photons of each light will detect separately, and we see them with their primary color, red and green. Reason 5. Thomas Young Experiment the reason for not accepting photons with a constant rest mass and believing in their wave-like state was the famous experiment of Thomas Young. In this experiment, interference patterns are observed and to justify them, they considered light as a wave. But the question is, why an electron whose rest mass has been proven to be constant has an interference pattern in Young's double slit experiment? So, it seems that ignoring the constant rest mass is not a suitable solution for optical particles. On the other hand, according to Louis de Bruce's theory, all matter is dual in nature and it is not limited to light. For example, the electrons that have a constant mass simultaneously have a wave-like nature. Therefore, it is not impossible for a photon to have a constant mass. And this is what is included in Saleh theory. <laughs>